Hey everyone, C Bullock here. In this video, we'll be looking at the advanced animation tool in Movavi Video Editor Plus. Now, the animation tool I don't believe is available in the regular Movavi Video Editor. I think you have to have the Plus version for this particular ability. So we're going to go ahead and get a background video down. So just whatever your regular video is, your background to your animation, or maybe you're animating something over another video. So we are going to grab just a simple plain black background. So I have already imported some clip art. Now that's usually what I use for the animation, but you can animate video, you can animate text, and you can animate the stickers in the Movavi program. So we're going to start with this fish. So we'll throw him in here. Now you'll have the option to do picture and picture and move him. But when I am doing the advanced animation, I will generally leave it as big as possible and in the very center of the video. And that's going to matter later if you want to spin it or rotate it. You'll want it there. So to add the advanced animation, we're going to go ahead and go to the animation tab here. And you can do the easy animation but today we're looking at advanced. So we're going to add animation and this adds two points automatically. Now these points, the way they work is the clip art or your object, your video will move smoothly between those two positions when it's animated. So the first point, if I take hit, take the fish over here out of the screen, and then the second point, if I take it over here, then the fish will go across the screen smoothly. Now the speed depends on how far apart the points are. So if I want it to go faster, then I would simply move the points closer. So now the fish will move faster across the screen. If I want it to stop, then I would create an additional point. So I would, let's say I want it to stop in the middle. So I'm going to make that second point in the middle. I'm going to copy that keyframe. Or you can add a keyframe. So I can copy that particular one if I already have additional keyframes past it. And then paste it by going to animation, paste keyframe. And that will paste the exact same point that was here. Or if you want to add a keyframe, you can press control T or go to animation, add keyframe. Control T will save you a lot of time if you're doing this much, so I would get used to it. Anywhere there is no arrow between the two points, then that means those points are the same and there will be no movement. So we're going to have it stop there, and then we'll go ahead and move it out with this last keyframe. Like that. So we can have it come in. And then go out. Now to make the clip the piece smaller or bigger, when I click on any of these points, then I'll use the mouse wheel or I can drag these dots in the corner. You can make it smooshed or smooshed this way. Or I can keep the same ratio and move the corners. Now to do different animations with it, so let's say I want it to look like it's getting closer to the screen or closer to the person watching, I would start with it very small and then have a bigger one here. Now it will show you the previous keyframe so that you can match it up if you need to, or you can see where it's going to be moving from. So close enough. And then it will go out. And I'm going to have it get bigger as it goes out. So it will look like it's moving closer the whole time. So he'll go out. And he's getting bigger. He's getting closer. And going that way. You can move this from the top of the screen, the bottom of the screen. You can add points to make it go up and down. So if I add a point here with Control-T, I can make him go up. At that point, and I can add another point here so that he kind of goes up and he has a little like wobble to him. Like that. Now I can also have it 
spin or rotate. So let's throw in the beach ball for that. So I'm going to add my animation points. So add animation. It will start with the two points. And let's say we just want it to pop in and spin. So I would have it here. And we're going to turn it upside down. Now the spinning is tricky. You can't, you can not really choose which way it goes. So you kind of have to play around with it. So usually if I want it to spin a specific direction, I won't put it all the way to the bottom. I'll do it slightly to the side of that direction. And then you would have to another, add another animation point to make it spin more. So there it's spinning. And then it will just pop out. If you want to fade it, then you can use the opacity up at the top. So I'm going to add another point here. Oh, no. So we'll add that. And then I can make it fade in and fade out. So it will fade in and spin and fade out. This tool is really, it's really fun to play with and it has its limits, but if you fool around with it, there's a lot you can do. So let's say I want it to like flip in. So I'm gonna make it like that. So to make it flip in, then I just start it smushed like that. So then it will kind of fold in and expand. And then you can make it flip out calling it flip, but you can't really 3D flip anything unless you have the back image of this particular item. So like that. And now you noticed it left a piece of him that was smushed. So let's watch it again. See that little red piece there? We don't want that. So I'm going to scale up down here so that I can see my points better. And you'll notice that I have part of this left. So that will stay there as long as this clip is on that last animation point. So if I had it like this, it would stay there. So we don't want that generally. We're going to cut that all the way to that point. So that it ends clean with the animation. Ta-da! That's how the advanced animation works in Movavi Video Editor Plus. You can use it in a variety of ways on a variety of things. So I can use it if I have a video clip I want to animate in or overlays. Um, I can use it on text. You can have text pop in in different ways. You can have text, you know, drop in wherever you want it. You can also use it combined with the chroma key to put in green screen footage and animate it across whatever video you're using. Go have some fun animating and I'll see you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe and drop it in the comments if you want to see something else. See you next time.